Hello, in this video we are going to introduce you Oxy500 Oxygen Concentrator. In the box of the ordered oxygen concentrator, there must be one oxygen concentrator, one patient cannula and a water box. Be sure that these three units exist in the box. Before you operate the oxygen concentrator, there are some preparations to be done. You must put distilled, pure or boiled on cooled water to this water box between the maximum and minimum amount levels depicted on the box. We do not advise you to use tap water for the health of the patients. After you must connect the oxygen pipe to the oxygen exit of the oxygen concentrator. Then you must connect the cannula to the connection points of the pipe that you see and the patient is going to breathe. After all these connections are completed, you can plug in your device and run it by pushing turn on button at the back of the device. You will receive a voice message from the device. That means the device is ready to operate. You can operate the device after this voice. In a short while, the device is going to be adjusted to the oxygen level requested. You can adjust the amount and flow of oxygen by using the button. You can increase and decrease. While using the device, when the oxygen normal lamp is on, it means that the device is ready to operate properly and gives the adjusted amount of oxygen to the patient. Now 1.8 you see in the screen indicates how much liter of oxygen per liter is given to the patient. In this part of the screen, purity percentage of the oxygen is indicated. The device is normally designed and produced to yield 90-95% of pure oxygen. When this purity level is below 82%, you will see an oxygen low warning. While the device is operating, be careful and sure that there is no carpet behind the device and under the device and any material that can negatively affect or obstruct the operation of the air filters of the device. Always operate the device in upright position, keep it unplugged while carrying and keep, it, keep the water box empty and removed. To introduce the buttons in the main screen of the device, you can turn off and on this voice warning. There is a timer here, for example if you adjust the time like this, after one hour the device is going to stop operating. If you want the device to, to operate without stopping, you must adjust it to zero. By doing this way, the device is programmed to operate continuously. In this section, you can turn off and on the screen light for the comfort of the patient at night time. Regarding maintenance, there are filters to be changed in the device. Before changing the filters, be sure that the device is in off position and turn off the power button at the back. Be sure that the device is unplugged. The filter you see in this part is a washable filter. You must wash it in every 3 to 4 days with warm water and dry it. You may not use any detergent for this filter. By washing and drying it, it can be used freely. This filter prevents the entry of harmful objects, particles and dust to the device. In some models there are pole filters. They must be replaced once a month. When this filter turns to black, you must replace it with a new one. You must order it from the seller. In every thousand operation hours, you will see an error 10 sign on the screen. This is a sign to remind you that filter must be changed. To remove the signal from the screen, you must do the following. After you change the filter, by pushing voice or order system, try to turn on and off the button 10 times for a period of 20 seconds. Then turn the device from the button at the back. Turn it on again and see that the code is cancelled or not. After you turn it on, turn off the screen and turn off the device from the button at the back. After 5 seconds, turn the device on. Enjoy your Oxy 500 oxygen concentrator and we wish you a healthy and a happy life.